And let's keep this good conversation going because social media is what we're talking about next. According to CTV News, data shows that teens who spend more than three hours a day on social media face double the risk of anxiety and depression. And now the U.S. Surgeon General wants Congress to require warning labels on those platforms similar to those that we see on cigarette boxes. So yeah. do you... Yeah. Well, I guess I don't have to ask a question. Do you agree with the labels? Hollywood, I'm going to throw to you first. What do you think about this? I think it's a great idea, and here's why. As a man of a certain age, I sort of was the guinea pig for right? all of this stuff, like Facebook, MySpace. Like, I was one of the first generations to sign up for so all true. of this. And yeah. what it did for us was it connected us, but what's happening now is it's creating a greater divide, mm. right? So I feel like having a warning label is necessary, in particular for people who are just entering into it. Mm. Like, I feel so bad for kids nowadays who right. have to face stuff that I still yeah. as an adult don't have to face, yeah. you know, and they're navigating this world. And I, I, th I think it's an important thing. Like, who's it gonna hurt? People still smoke cigarettes? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's true. I think the comparison to cigarettes is, is where it gets me because mm -hmm. the one thing that bothers me about this is that while I think we should do anything and everything, especially to protect kids, I think that horse left the barn a long time ago. Yeah. We, we have let this social experiment mm -hmm. run away from us. The tech companies are 10 or 20 years ahead of these congressmen, no, no disrespect, but they don't even know how to sign up for Facebook, let alone regulate <laughs> Facebook. They really yeah. don't. Yeah. The, the, this is not their That's era. So I mean, if you're 80 That's years so old, <laughs> yeah, if you're 80 years old, and you're trying to legislate tech, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah. This is the wrong people yeah. to be doing. But where I will say is that um, I don't know why they're blaming us. Like, why would you put a warning label for me or even like a cigarette user? I do look at it as a drug. It is nicotine mm -hmm. is a drug and you get addicted. S for so many people, those pictures and warnings don't work, right. especially mm -hmm. for a young kid. That label is not going to work. And so this is where I'm going to call out to all parents. Mm -hmm. Never in the history, I think, of childhood do we need parents to parent up yeah. against social media than we do today. I'm terrified. And, yeah. and, uh, I'm terrified. Yeah, no, the, classrooms, the classrooms as well, right? Like the banning of the actual cell phone in classrooms. I think that will be more effective than the labels. The warning labels are something. I'm certainly mm -hmm. not against it. It's mm -hmm. something. It's a step something, in the right, yeah. right direction. Something I've always wondered about is why the step has not been taken, or maybe it will be, to to sign up for any kind of account on social media, you have to put in your real name. Can you imagine? You have to put in your mm. real name, the real business that you represent, so that there is a connection between what you say and who you mm. are. So yeah. then privacy yeah. laws. Betty T8967 42, you know, emoji face. Mm -hmm. It is your name. And I think that would, I think it would help. You would bear the responsibility. You would think twice before. You said something, yeah. I think, because it's connected yeah. to, to you. you. I mean, yeah. Facebook did do that. Once a, there was a time where Facebook was like, you have to prove who you are. There's yeah, someone they, on Facebook posing as you know. me right now. And I can't, I can't do anything about it. Count down. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Let's not get off topic. But I'm annoyed, Facebook. Wow. Yeah. You, know yeah. who's, you know who this is great for? All of the people who own all of these apps, because this takes the responsibility off of their hands. Yes. yes. So like, if we put a warning, then it's up to you guys. We don't tell you me do about your it. child and the suicide and all the issues it's you're like having. Big because, tobacco being like, yeah, oh. they're like, well, listen, there's a warning, so you know. And I, I honestly, I, I, is I that kinda, why they're doing I, it? I, well, it's to me, that's, that's the first thing that popped up in my head. I'm we're like, blaming yeah, the look wrong away, person. Look away. Look, yeah, well, they've been trying to go after these people, but they can't because legally they just can't because, again, the technology is ahead of the, of the regulation. Sure. So I'm thinking that this is just a way to appease everybody but also allows these, these tech giants just to kind of go, we don't have to, we can wash our hands of any responsibility. This is somebody else's yeah. problem. And I also feel That's like, I don't know about you guys, but when I was younger, anytime something came with a warning label, unless it was like poison, like I wasn't stupid, <laughs> um, I wanted, <laughs> I was beelining to it. I don't know if you guys remember, remember on like Friday nights, Mark Daly, there would be movies on City, City oh, News? Oh, yeah, yeah. And Mark Daly would do a little announcement, warning, the movie you're about to watch has adult content, sexual nudity. So I'd be like, eh, we're in. Tune in. <laughs> I just feel like the warning is gonna tempt those kids to be like, yeah, why, how, how come we can't see this? So it might be, it might work in the opposite, but I'm curious to see what's gonna happen, but I think it's a little too late, but we'll see. A little too late. Oh, good chat, yeah. good chat. Yeah, Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.